somebody that's climbed that ladder and the scoring ladder, what's the significance of Carmelo doing it in a win like this and doing it in such a rhythm and including even the shot that passed Moses? Um, I think it always feels sweeter, obviously, in a win uh, and even more sweeter uh, when it just happens organically. Um, yeah, he was just playing just straight up flow, rhythm basketball tonight. And, um, you know, for him to move, uh, you know, into ninth place all the time in the scoring uh, leaderboard is uh, is uh, special. And, uh, you know, usually when I'm when some of my friends have these kind of achievements, you know, I can I text them or call them or FaceTime and then put something on social media. Uh, in this case, I got to do it in person, you know, because he's my teammate now. So they made it special for me. Is there a certain thing that just also you having passed Moses right a, a bit ago? Is there something that you guys can share with that, even, even if it's just a head nod or you know, in your experience uh, contrasting with his throughout the league? No, no. Um, you know, when uh, our announcer, our PA announcer, said it and the crowd went crazy, he happened to be sitting right next to me on the bench, and uh, you know, I just congratulated him, told him how proud I am of him, um, and you know, obviously it probably was overwhelming for him, um, even even with a guy that's had so many accomplishments in his career. Hey, LeBron. Um, there are going to be moments throughout this year where, I mean, we've talked about this, the overall age of this team, and, and there are going to be markers that come up that sort of bring that into focus. I'm curious what it was like for you tonight to play against someone who uh, played on your high, on your son's high school basketball team, <laughs> and, and kind of if, if that that even registered to you at all tonight? Uh, oh, absolutely. Because I mean, I, I'm aware of everything that's going on on the floor. Um, you know, I looked at Zaire a couple of times and I was just like shaking my head inside, just remembering like really like a year and a half ago, two years, not even four, two years, he was uh, hitting a game winner to send them to the state championship uh, alongside my son and going to the game and supporting Sierra Kane and, you know, one year at Stanford and now he's here. So it's just, uh, <laughs> it's a weird dynamic for myself to see something like that, but happy for the kid, obviously. And uh, but it was definitely I had a moment for sure. LeBron, you had that spill in the first half. Uh, you were on the floor for a bit. A bunch of your teammates and some of the medical staff came to check on you. What was going through your mind in the moment, and what did you? How did you feel as the game went on after you checked back in? Uh, the first thing I was thinking to myself was not again, obviously, because it was almost kind of similar, but not the same kind of play. A guy falling into my leg. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, and um, I couldn't get my leg out of there in time. So um, I just wanted to try to take a moment on the floor. Just, you know, hopefully it wasn't getting worse. Um, I had an opportunity just to tie my shoe again and see if I could continue to go. And I was able to continue to go, but um, it's a little sore right now. Um, and obviously I think it's going to be a little sore tomorrow when I wake up. But. Um, obviously, I'm a round-the-clock guy when it comes to treatment, so hopefully I'll be ready to go on uh, Tuesday. LeBron, um, back to Melo. What's it been like getting him acclimated here, and does the fact that you guys know each other so well and you have the history that you have make that process easier? Yes, it does. Um, I mean, if it's one person I know more than anybody on his team, it's him, obviously. Uh, we've been friends for over 20 years now. So, um, you know, I know him just as well as you know himself and vice versa. And you know, to have him here every day now, it's just uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a treat for me. It's an honor. It's a gift. And uh, something that we kind of mentioned and talked about just on the, on the fly throughout our careers and things of that nature. But to see it actually here and to see us on the floor making big plays together, um, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing, man. Uh, you guys ran a lot of pick and roll with you and Russ down the stretch, and you had the one play where you, know, you hit him on the short roll. He found AD for the dunk. Uh, what what did you think of that? Uh, Frank said that was something you guys have been practicing a lot, and then just kind of the overall execution. Down yeah, the stretch. we haven't put in our full our full I would say playbook yet. Um, like you said, we have a new team, so we still are implementing ways where we can be even better offensively. So, um, you know, that's one of them that we haven't even exploited just yet that we just put it in tonight, you know, that pick and roll. And, you know, a lot of teams are not going to switch point guards on, on to me on the perimeter. And, you know, if I'm able to get to Russ on a three on two, his ability to read the game from that position, 
um, would be with any playmakers in our game. And obviously he showed it, what he was able to do, getting up in the air, getting Adams to take a look at him for a quick second, wrap it around 80 for the dunk. So it's something that's going to work very well for our ball club going forward. Last two, we'll take uh, Evan Barnes on the zone, and then we'll end with Parker. Kevin Brown, 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 no, I didn't. I didn't get an opportunity to say anything to him. Um, probably because we were 0-2 and, and I didn't have time to be communicating with anybody on the opposing team. So we was a little fed up today, trying to get a win. Um, but. Um, it, it was, uh, like I said earlier, it was a surreal, crazy, you know, uh, just moment just being out there with him on the floor. And like I said, you know, working out with those guys when I went to Sierra a few times and going to the games and watching them play the way they played that, that year, my son's freshman year. To see him in the NBA now was, um, you know, I knew he was a pro um, his senior year at Sierra. So, um, you know, I didn't know. Uh, how long it would take him to get here, but I knew he was a pro right away. So, um, you know, it's definitely a good moment. Last question, Mark Medina. Hey, LeBron, in lieu of Melo's milestone tonight, what do you think is distinguishable with the way he scores compared to, you know, the other top scorers in the history of the game? The other top scorers in, in, in what, in history? Yeah, among the other top scorers. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know the, 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 the list. I know a few guys, but uh, Melo's game is unique in his own right. I mean, he's he's done it at all facets of the game, in all positions. Um, you know, ISO has been one of the best ISO guys that we have in our league. Um, you know, early in his career, obviously, his athleticism, putting guys in the rim, uh, getting into their, getting to their uh, bucket, but was always been his mark is his footwork, um, either off the dribble or before the dribble, being able to create space um, with quick twitch feet. Um, his shot is one of the most beautiful releases I've seen in NBA history. Um, and I'm, I feel like it's going in every single time. So, um, But he's done it at all facets, the three, the mid, mid range, the low post, the bucket, free throws, obviously. Um, he's a unique player. And uh, it's just hard to kind of, there's nobody that kind of, I would say, reminds me of him. Even when I was, when I played against him for the first time in the um, uh, Junior Olympics in Colorado Springs, uh, Colorado. And when I seen him, he was, I was 16, he was 17. I came back and told my guys that I just seen the best player I ever seen to that, to that point. Um, and we happened to play them that following year, and they beat us, but it was a good game. But, um, but yeah, um, he's been doing it for quite a while, and, uh, and it's just beautiful to continue to see, uh, especially when you know um, they gave up on him. Appreciate it. High school, Frank.